y'all welcome back to the show mississippi girl life i'm tamika country mississippi girl living in north carolina so y'all i wanted to talk to y'all about something and that is about time okay so as y'all can see up here i have one dehydrator i have two dehydrator y'all know i don't deal with pressure can <laughs> uh -uh. i got my water bath canner this is uh, rice cookers. I got my bread machine. I got my juicer. Um, these are just um, new wave. I mean, not new wave. Uh, air fryers. So that's not pretty much what I want to. Down here, I have all my measuring cups and different things like that. Cutting boards, all that type of stuff. Right here in this bin, I have um, my bands for my lid. So if I want a can. Um, when I open jars and clean the jars, whatever, I keep my rings, uh, my bands, and my um, lids or whatnot. I have vacuum sealer bags. I have extra big spoons. I got so many rings and lids, as y'all can see. I got my tongue set, um, graters, different things like that. The tongs is for when you canning. Um, all this. So if y'all been following me, y'all know I know how to can. I've canned um, years ago or whatnot. But I keep my stuff updated. I got dis disposable gloves, some more vacuum seal bags. I keep those on hand. Um, I've been using my cheesecloth, but I got an extra thing of cheesecloth. Um, all my plastic rings for my mason jars. Um, y'all will be seeing me using that in a different way. Um, but just odds and ends, things like that. And I have way more stuff, but it's not about the amount of stuff that you have. It's about having the right stuff. This is my vacuum sealer. I went through two vacuum sealers. So this is the one I've had for, the, for a couple years, but I'm definitely gonna get another one that I probably won't even open. See, like I'm well stocked up on this type of stuff. I need to do better on my um, detergent because it was stocked all the way up. All these toothbrushes and stuff like that, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, smell good, some cleaning stuff, softeners over here. I got all these razors. You probably can't see razors, deodorant. I, I, I'm stocked up on a lot of stuff. It's just some um, eyes and ends, um, like toilet paper, paper towels, detergent, all that type of stuff um, that I need to do. All right, y'all. So I showed you that just to say this. Just because you don't see um, a person using certain things do not mean they don't have it. And when I say that, it's because I'm the type that I stock up on stuff. And I know how to do things. I make sure I know how to do it. But if I don't use it, a lot of people will be quick to throw stuff away and like, you know, I don't use this. I don't do this. I do things where I stock up, stock up for when that time comes. I will have it you know so I don't have time throughout my day like you know I probably did some years back to can this and do this and do I, I'm constantly going constantly going and trying to have a full um, I guess you say uh, market business this spring and summer and stuff like that it's a lot okay so what I've been doing is sitting down trying to prioritize my life <laughs> you know i still have to keep up a house i still have kids everybody gotta eat everything like that and y'all know i do things on a budget so that's a lot by itself all right um stocking up on canning stuff know how to can first stock up runs like learn how to can if you don't can no more for two or three years, it's okay. You have the items that you need. So when you need to start up, because we don't know where this, how this world is going. When you need to start it back up, you have it. Vacuum sealer. Get familiar with vacuum sealing food. The odds and ends. Get your vacuum sealer. Get the, those are things you would need. Okay, you, you, you may end up needing it. That don't mean you have to use it every day and feel like, oh, it's just sitting there. It's just sitting there. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's going to come in handy when it's when, at the right time. Okay. 
so yes I get things and I stock up on stock up on it so I have it um, back to time if you growing food or you stocking up you're prepping you're gardening whatever it is it's not that then you still have to you know maybe go to work or do whatever your everyday life it is a lot of work so the bread machine sometimes I don't get to make bread like I want to that is something I'm gonna prioritize so when I do my grocery hauls y'all may see like bread and stuff in them and like well she got because sometimes you just you just don't have that time you don't have that time to constantly do it and I have learned I used to be that type where I gotta do this I gotta do that I gotta do this I gotta do that I got uh-uh I have slowly learned you will run yourself down okay and you run yourself down you can't do nothing for yourself and nobody else and I don't like depending on nobody else so I don't want to I, I don't need to run myself down having to do this having to do this if I can find some light bread on sale then I'm going to find that light bread on sale and I'm going to put it in my freezer for them times that I cannot make homemade bread I have learned to slow down slow my pace a lot of y'all been like oh um, you're a busybody. You always doing some. You always doing some. Yes. Oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. And it was messing with me mentally. So I'm all about now. What is gonna be helpful to me? What is going to put less stress on me, but still get the job done? Okay. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of ourselves, especially if you got kids. You have to take care of yourself. Okay, so there's ways that you can do, um, and I'll be showing y'all because this is what I do, okay? Cooking and freezing, that's my thing. A lot of people was like, oh, you should have been canning. See, I'm to the point now in my life, I'm not, I'm not people pleasing nobody this year and on fourth. I'm not people pleasing nobody. When I used to do the cooking and freezing, it's like, oh, you need to be canning and you need to be canning. Look, I don't have time to can. Do I know how to can? Yes, I know how to can. I've canned on here, got several videos. I don't have time to can. <laughs> um, but what I do got time to do is do what I used to do back in the day when Aronde was active duty. I did a lot of cooking and freezing. Okay, a lot of cooking and freezing. You know, sometimes there was different functions that had to be that we went to or whatnot. Um, the balls, different things, and then I had small children. So, cooking and freezing was like the best day. Get up in the morning, oh, I'm going to take out these. That's when I was eating like neck bones or whatever. I'm going to take out neck bones. You know, I'm going to take out these greens. And, oh, I got that cornbread. See, I'm, I'm, I'm back to all that. I'm back to all that. Cooking and freezing has been my thing. So, cooking, freezing, stocking up on canned goods while the stuff is, is all right. Because I ain't seen no recalls on like green beans and stuff like that, canned goods. So, when you can find it cheap find it cheap um, and stock up on it to go in your purpose pantry and all that type of stuff because trust me you're gonna need it <laughs> you're gonna need it I I'm telling you you're gonna need it all right but as for me breaking my neck trying to can some I will freeze before I can and what people don't understand when you're freezing something you are preserving it but you can always go back a couple, couple months later and cook that and then can that so you can go from freezing to canning you don't have to jump right into candy. You don't have to jump right into dehydrating. You can throw. We we out there. You know, there's some maybe hot. We we you you gotta get the food out the garden. You gotta clean the food. You gotta you know what if you gotta chop it up or whatever, cook it or whatever. That can be tiring and that can run you down. And I'm not finna do it. So if I pull some out the garden and I clean it and I chop it up, get it all nice and throw it in the freezer. I can always take that out and throw it on my dehydrator. So it don't have to be done right then and there. It's all about prioritizing your time. I see a lot of people say it's not enough time in the day. You know why? Because we, not only you, but we, I'm talking about myself, don't prioritize. We put a lot on ourselves that we don't have to those things is going to be still right there still need to be done and you're going to be tired and 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 just stressed and just miserable and i'm stopping it because i've been like that for years okay years and years almost all my life i gotta do this i gotta do that uh -uh. 
no 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 so what I have said that I'm gonna do for me is a lot of freezing first once I freeze date and freeze then I can go back and say, hey, I need to pull you out, you out, you out, you out, you out. I need to throw you on the dehydrator. If I'm going to can you, I'm going to go ahead and cook you and can you. And that could be a couple days or whatever, whenever you said it. As for these meals, y'all going to see a lot of me cooking and freezing. That's what I used to do. That was my go-to. That's what my granny did when I was growing up was cook and freeze and even since i've been up here when she was alive she would tell me she's like tink but y'all don't know tink tinkerbell is my nickname that's what my family called me so those of you that knew that don't know tink or either tinkerbell okay so she's like tink or sometimes she'll be like baby girl you got them children it's a lot on you go back to cooking and freezing now i'm like yeah i know i know and i wouldn't do it i wouldn't do it um and then I finally got back into it and then I think we moved and I, I stopped again so cooking and freezing you can freeze almost anything they have meals set up, and that's why I was like you know what we come into the garden season I got a lot I need to do out there I got chickens quails I'm trying to have a paradise garden if it's God's will a paradise garden close to it can't have a paradise garden but close to it um, I cannot afford to get up in the morning and try to figure out what somebody gonna have for lunch and dinner. That mm -mm. I need to get up in the morning, oh my deep freezer, okay, and pull out some whatever I pull out for lunch is what you will have for dinner. That that's just what it is. <laughs> if you don't want it, then your stomach can lick your back until the next day when something else come out it is what it is okay that way I don't have to worry about constantly I, I don't like no nasty house so when you having to cook every day you got to clean the kitchen you got to do all that you got to do this sometimes I'll be so tired by the time I lay down my body just doing this right here enough is enough no 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 paper plates paper bowls plastic spoons plastic forks and some styrofoam cups okay people be like oh you wasting money honey that is all of about ten dollars and it'll last about two weeks i'm pretty sure you spend ten dollars on something that's some nonsense probably almost every day or a couple times out of the week i'm gonna spend ten dollars on something that's gonna help me out okay that's the mindset that is the mindset right there okay so cooking and freezing starts today y'all will be seeing um those i'll share with y'all what i done cooked up what i freeze or whatnot like that um that's one way you can you know eliminate a lot i think that's like the main thing and i've said this so many times meat i hate cooking meat because i gotta go back and bleach everything down and do all the time i'm messing with some with some with some raw meats I have to go back and bleach everything and do all this and do all that and, and constantly wash my hands and that I'm OCD. Okay. It's I hate cooking meat. <laughs> I don't have a problem with eating it, but I hate cooking it. Okay. So it's like I'ma cook you. I'ma cook about a month worth for you in one day. And gonna go ahead. Now once it's cooked, I'm fine. I ain't worried about no bacteria, no salmonella, none of that. But it's the process while it's raw and I got to cook it. All right. I can cook meat and I can throw, I can cook sides all day, every day. That don't bother me. Okay. Um, I used to cook cornbread and cut it up in squares and wrap it in aluminum foil and put it off in Ziploc bags. I used to do my kids and muffins like that. I just used to grab and go, but everything was made from home. It was just preserved, just cooked, frozen, and grab and go. And that is what I'm getting back to. Before this spring starts, might as well just go ahead and get back in the motion of it now. Okay? So, when I get things out of the garden, like beans and stuff like that, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wash that stuff up and freeze it. And then I'll decide what I'm going to do with it later. Well, we'll decide. If y'all, if y'all on here, we'll decide what I do with it later. Am I gonna dehydrate it? Am I going to, you know, um, can it up, or if I'm just gonna keep it frozen, okay, and just use it like that? I have a total of three defreezers, 
two in the garage, one in here, and then I have two refrigerators. So that's more free. I got space. It's no, it's no excuse. If my grandma was alive right now, she'd be like, Tink, really? There's no excuse. Just go ahead and do it and take some of the stress off of you. I know she would tell me that. So I got up this morning. I was like, you know what? It's like with me, when I wake up in the morning and something hit my head, that was like with pier I have had piercings, belly button piercings and all of them <laughs> back in the day type of stuff. Um, tattoos. That that was the thing. I got up. Yeah, I'm going to tattoo today. I didn't stop tattooing. Yep. Oh, I'm getting that pierced today. I did not stop. <laughs> That's what it was. So when I got this morning, sometimes when stuff hits me, it's like, okay. When I get up and it really, really hits me to get this done or do this, I'm like, okay. I don't really stop until I do it. And that's just the way it is. So I'm saying all this is something to say prioritize your time. There's things you can do to make it easier. I have to focus on outside. It's been two years that I haven't been able to focus. Like I said, 2022, um, it was very hot out there. And then I had this, the, the personal issue going on with my son and all that type of stuff. Y'all, if y'all been following me, y'all know about that. Okay, new, it was new, new setup and not set up, but just new things going on in my life. Okay. And then 2023, last year, right before garden really picked up, I had to have surgery. So, I, I've been trying to recuperate after that because everything went like well. Like y'all know, I recoup really quick. But I still have, I still give myself time. I'm still pretty much taking it easy. As long as I turn and fill a, a certain pool, I'm going to take it easy. So, I, so I already told him, don't. I'm I'm taking it easy all the way to May 18th this year. If God said to say that's gonna be a year, so I'm giving myself a full year. Okay, I'm not I'm not finna be go out there picking up all this. Now I have not thinking, but I got it. Like I'm I'm months at what eight months now post up, but I'm still taking my time. Because a lot of y'all have been listening to y'all. Y'all tell me you're not healed. Inside out. Inside out. It's a long. And trust me, when I do certain movements, I can feel. I can feel that there's an emptiness there. I can feel that there's no organ there. Like, I can literally feel. It's a difference, okay? But I'm thankful to God that everything went good. And I have not had any problems. The only thing that I have to do is eat better. Because there are vitamin deficiencies that happens after the gallbladder is out. That can happen. And so I've noticed a couple things or whatnot. Um, so and I it, it corrects itself when I start eating right. So um that's another thing. So I have to be out there in that garden. I have to stay on top of things. I'm excited about it, trying to go and get y'all all these places that selling this stuff because people are buying this gardening stuff quick, y'all. People are buying it quick. I have an early garden season because I have the greenhouse. A lot of y'all has been buying those greenhouses. A lot of y'all has been buying those greenhouses. Different ones like the longer ones like that. So, I already know. Y'all probably the ones buying up the stuff too. Because when I go in the stores, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what I would do is because it wasn't much at the end of this video... I'm not even going to end it out. I'm just going to put the scene for, I went to Walmart to go and see if they had any stuff uh, yesterday. And so I'm just going to put the little scene. They didn't have much. It was like back to root, back to the root stuff um, at this one. So I'm going to put the, the little scene just to show y'all what I saw at the Walmart. And I did get something um, at Walmart that was on sale. So stay at the end of this video i just put it there because it, it wasn't much to, to really show so i just added on to here um but yeah prioritizing so don't get rid of your stuff just because you look at it and see it on the shelf and you're not using it you're gonna need it and that stuff is that stuff can be expensive so you don't want to get rid of it okay it's a time it's the the main thing is having it on hand having it on hand is the main thing and that and knowing how to use it don't just go buy some can and stuff and don't know how to use it and then when you need to use it you got to learn and, and do it and know how to do it know it verbatim know know it down to the t almost and then if you ain't got time to put it up somewhere put it up to be honest i like looking at my appliances 
I like knowing what I have. Like looking at it and reminding myself, okay, you good. If this happened, you good. Or this happened, you good. If this happened. Because with water bath cannon, a lot of people is like, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. I will can chicken. Okay. All it's going to do is take a longer time. That's it. That's, that's it. It's going to take a couple of hours longer to can than a pressure can. A pressure can have it can real quick. I understand that, but I don't deal with pressure. Not, not from no cannon. I apply pressure. I don't let nobody apply pressure to me. I apply pressure. Okay. <laughs> Girl, stop. <laughs> but that's the thing. And I, I, um, mm, 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 I don't do that. They ain't gonna tow your face off. <laughs> I know I'm clumsy. So I, I ain't even finna go there. That was saying say about that. I could I learn it and it really focus on yes. But I know I got cheering and stuff. They'll come and talk to me. I better hit a lever or something. To <laughs> better blow everything up in the house. <laughs> Be sitting over on the counter, <laughs> off in the sink somewhere. <laughs> uh uh, I already know. I already know. So, and as y'all saw, I, I'm I'm getting back to stocking up my coupon and stuff. Y'all know I was a um, big couponer, but when 2020 hit, and my area it got hard to buy coupons to get the coupons, and then the shelves was always bare. And I'll be buying coupons because I'm stockpiling coupon. So what I'm going to start back doing is, um, y'all know I tried to start back a couple times, but it just wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it. So um, I got a couple things that I'm going to show y'all for as helping out with different things when I go in the stores. I'll make videos on that. Um, but as you can see, I still, still, you know, stocked up on a couple different things or whatnot. And my stockpile, there's areas that I definitely, as a couponer, I definitely would need to be stocked upon. But like I say, I haven't been able to coupon. So, that's another thing. Having too much to do, if I can eliminate at least food, um, then I can have time to do other stuff. Because those things, couponing takes time. To do it right and do it the level that I was doing. If y'all don't don't know, check out my couponing videos from a couple some years back. You'll see. Your girl, stockpile. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but that is something else I want to stock up on and you know I know how to do different things um I've not forgot I, I, I woman of many talents okay I've done a whole lot of stuff um, that I can fall back on you know and I will be sharing some of this stuff with y'all um, but right now it's all about prioritizing my time so I can have time to do other things that I need to do and that is my main goal right now is prioritizing my time but still getting stuff done um, and making it easier easier as possible but still we still eat healthy but it's easier for me to just pull out different things okay so remember stock up if you know how to can and you see something that's better get it if you know how to dehydrate and you see something better, get it if you don't use it for a couple years just know you that's part of prepping still is having those items having those things you don't want to wait till you need it and everybody is running buying it because everybody want a homestead now because things don't want crazy the manufacturers gonna take them prices up like they've been doing when they see them sales is going, they're going to take them prices up. Because one thing I know, two things for sure, <laughs> three things for concern. <laughs> they're going to get their money. So if they see us a high a high um, purchase in this product, they're going to take it up. They're going to take it up. Also, I want to say in my community tab, I have been posting older videos. Of vid um, older videos that a lot of y'all ain't saw because y'all new to the channel okay it's a lot of y'all new to the channel um we are we are over we hit a couple milestones here on the channel lately we have and we are over some hurdles okay we are over some hurdles so i know a lot of y'all is new so pay attention to my community tab here on the channel because I am posting older videos to kind of motivate you to let you see what I did in the garden 
what 2020 2021 um indoor gardening different things like that so you can always type in mississippi girl life and type in indoor gardening or something like that um and it's gonna pull up older video or you can just go to my playlist my playlist i have so many videos categorized in my playlist okay but i'm trying to get the garden back the way it was two years ago because two years it's been two years and i done seen like something that came up every <laughs> every garden season um in the last two years so they kind of hindered me so yeah so that's what i wanted to talk to y'all about about prepping um being prepared is still it's, it all goes there's no right and wrong way okay um i still would say be careful what you prep don't prep a lot of junk because that's what you got to eat in the case of an emergency okay um i still do the perimeter of the store i go to my produce which i'm changing some things about that um y'all will be sitting in the upcoming grocery hauls somebody was like i i, I remember you always said it but some of y'all been like, I miss your Walmart curbside videos. Well, guess what, y'all? I'm not going to be shopping. I'm going to try not to shop too much at Food Line. Because everybody don't have a Food Line. But what you do got is a Walmart. Okay? And lately, Walmart prices have been a little bit cheaper. They had got, they had went up. Now they are a little bit more cheaper than the Food Line. So, my grocery haul is going to be Walmart. That way, everybody can relate to it. Um, but my grocery hauls will be Walmart. So yes, I've been listening. I've been listening, but I had to. I still have to shop where the prices are right. So after looking at different things, Walmart is best for my area. And my Sam Club, uh, Sam Club hauls are coming back because there are some things that I do want to continue to get from Sam Club. And Sam Club fruit be a little better. Uh, fresh fruit or whatnot. So, when they have sales there, I will start back doing those. It's just that I've been getting stuff, but I just haven't been filming it. Um, because I've just been so busy. So, some things you don't even get to see. Okay, so, expect all that. This is a variety channel for anybody that's new. It always has been a variety channel. I do so much. I know here on YouTube, you need a niche. I can't stick to a niche because I get bored. That's just me. <laughs> y'all already know my mental and all that so some of y'all so i would get bored is all outside i can't do it i've tried i can't do it and i just feel like i get bored i i would get bored watching the same thing every day um just in a different way it still be the same thing so i've always been a variety channel so because some of y'all be like i'm confused about your channel because you're used to people having niches I have an all over the board niche. It's a variety channel. Okay, so, but it's my lifestyle. It's, you know, what I do. It's still Mississippi Girl Life. It's what I do. Okay, so, you know, I'm into prepping. I'm into gardening. I'm doing all that. Um, motivation, inspiration, um, all that. Some things, there are some videos, it's just meant to motivate you. It's meant to let you see what I'm doing at this time. And you may get up and say, oh, well, let me get up and go clean up this kitchen. Y'all know it's down to earth. We all had a moment. Like, let me get up and go do this. Some things over here is meant to motivate you, not teach you, motivate you, <laughs> inspire you. Um, so it is what it is. So yeah, watch the clip here at the end from Walmart and you'll be able to see what I was able to get, what I saw for the garden center at Walmart and i hope the things i said you can kind of relate to it um as far as where i'm coming from with stocking up on things now i'm not saying don't get me wrong don't just stock up on stuff and just have a, be a whole hoarder or something like that you know i'm talking about the things that you know you'll eventually use okay go ahead and get those when you can a little bit at a time i didn't buy all this stuff at one time it's a little bit at a time i um got it use it did you know got very very familiar um and then moved on to something else and just kept my stuff okay so yeah so i hope y'all enjoy this little clip and i'll talk to y'all later okay 
Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, Mississippi Girl Life. All right, y'all. So I am in Walmart, and I want to see what they got on um, for is the garden supplies and stuff. So they got some seeds. They, they, they. I'm gonna have to go in there to make sure. But I want to show y'all what they got so far. They got the back to the root seeds. Um, but I need to see if they got some of the other ones. So come on come on let me put my mask on look i be having my mask on y'all but i'm in this guard area ain't nobody in here so i take it off to start the video put my mask on and then we're gonna see what they got y'all back to the roots is not playing <laughs> this whole stand is for back to the roots they are not playing okay they got their stuff out they got the um biodegradable degradable um planters the little um seed starter pots um they got their seeds look at this they see 297 though Whew. but they got all types of seeds um yeah back to the roots all types of seeds um let me go over here and see if uh who, who was that in target we saw what burpee was it burpee or oh, fairy morris let me just look i don't see seeds um so it's crazy that target got those seeds but walmart ain't got them out yet unless they got them and just ain't put them out this is what they, they do have just like they off and stuff like that um nothing major as far as they regular stuff because you would think if one store has the burpee or fairy moss whichever brand it was that was at target if y'all watched that video you would think that um they will have it at the store because that's just like one company so but they may have it and just they put it out this is the weed barrier fabric fabric hope y'all can hear me over this um mask 24 87 for three by 100 300 square foot coverage but let me see it say 300 square foot coverage and that said but this thicker than that hmm i don't know that's a 13 for the sale so they got something just like they tools oh um, who those cute little turtle uh um water so yeah they slowly put a little stuff out you know they ain't got their seeds out it's cold but i'm gonna go outside and see what they got they got the fertilizers more planters see they put out some stuff but they didn't have these at first seed cell trays um 72 sale 1188 um these are the, the little pellets 36 for 588 mm-hmm yes sir i'm gonna go look outside real quick and make sure they ain't snuck nothing out there but i doubt it this is all the grill stuff so let's just go see but they got it clear right here so oh. go down here thank you down here, let's see if I see anything back here, which I doubt it because I don't see them putting it back here. We definitely got everything nice and clean and ready, though. Yeah, these is grass seeds, yeah, just like grass seeds and stuff like that. So, you know, it's getting close when they got their patio, their umbrella. Uh, out outdoor carpet okay y'all look at this so y'all know I want the tractor supply 
and I had got the seed started mix because I know I got to start the stuff inside. And this is a 12 quart for $5.97 when the 8 quart was almost $7 or $5, $7, or something like that. So you get more with that. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and grab two of these. They jiffy, they not my miracle grow, but it is what it is. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these. Um, to have on hand. Cause that's a good price. So y'all know I start my seeds in regular dirt. It don't matter, but I'm getting this because all my dirt is um heavily composted now. It's ready for them strong plants. It's ready, ready, ready. So I'm gonna get this just to start them in all right um they even got this right here just a jiffy seed starting strips i guess because they the they biodegradable i don't like the biodegradable ones because it be molding they be molding like i don't like that i don't like that um if you like it that's fine but i don't care for that so i'm thinking about going ahead getting two of these yeah 